What's up, YouTube? Top City 5401 here. And this is my first video to road to 5,500. So prior to these pickups, I was sitting at 5,350 unique Barry Bonds cards. So let me show you guys what I've picked up. And guys, what I've found is there are a lot of Bonds cards I don't have. And it's not gonna be super duper difficult to pick stuff up that I don't have. I think the difficult part is to figure out what I have and don't have. So I gotta make a list, but here we go. Here's, I got some oddball stuff here. So let me let me show, show it off. First, 1990 Topps coins. Eh, not, I mean, it's an oddball piece, not hard to find, but somebody cut out all the players on the box that the coins were distributed in, like on the retail shelves, you know, you put the box on the shelf and then you grab the pack out of the box, where there's a cutout of the box itself, a Bonds coin cutout. So it's not a coin, it's a cutout of an image of the coin that was on the Topps coin box. Man, that took me a long time to figure out how to explain what that was. Here's another super oddball piece and I'm really glad I picked it up. It was on my watch list for a while and I was debating on whether I was gonna add it into the collection. It was cheap enough, so I grabbed it. And this is off a Wheaties box. I think it's a 1997 Wheaties box, some, somewhere in there. And it's not a Wheaties card off a Wheaties box. It's an image of Barry Bonds on the box that had the cards on the back of the box, but this image was actually on the front of the Wheaties box. But it does say Barry Bonds on the top, and it's shaped kind of like a home plate, at least the bottom part of the card. I just figure, what the heck? Add it to the collection. So there we go. Those are some super duper oddball pieces. Then I got this really nice starting lineup from 2001 didn't have this card. This is when they were like, what did they call it? Starting lineup two. So I know starting lineup didn't make figures for a while. So this is probably the first round of the second series of starting lineups in the 2000s. I don't know, but it's just a cool card. So I didn't have that one. And then I got this cool Pinnacle Summit artist proof card. That card is really nice, man. I'm glad I picked this one up. And then the last one, and guys, if you want me to do a follow-up video, I will. But I managed to get that card from COMC that I ranted about, about two or three videos back. Um, I, I don't know what happened, but somehow COMC miraculously found this card. And they decided to ship it out to me. Let's just say that. If you want the whole story, I can do another video on it. But if you guys don't want to hear any more about it, then I won't do a video. Just comment below if you want, want to hear the story. If I get enough people that want to hear it, I might do a video on it. But I, I'm kind of over it now. I'm just glad I have the card. So there we go. The SPX. And this is the steel. Not These are very... Or these aren't that tough to find. They're just a lot tougher to find than the silver. And my friend Ben told me how to uh, differentiate the silver from the steel. And this is indeed the steel. So those are the pickups, guys. So thanks so much for tuning in. Man, I love the oddball action. Kind of mid... This isn't really oddball, but it's not pack issued. And then all the inserts. So, whoa, okay, I'm not going to drop anything, good. All right, so there we go, guys, road to 5,500, now I'm at 5,355, so 155 to go, or 145 to go in 2021. So thanks so much for tuning in, and until, and as always, until next time, happy collecting!